Likes their kids. You said you were looking for work. Bart. And I found uh, it. How are you gonna No, this it? isn't work. Uh, Have you ever thought what would happen to us if we lost you? Not otherwise. Lost all our money? Either you changed this up, or I changed the locks. Considering all those heads. Know what they did? Yeah. Lil Sis said Bart's older sister went to 6th Street or something. And then oh, get this. Shit. She asked me, where's 6th Street? Are we not allowed to go there? I mean, for real. You say, Zar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Dolph is equal to Puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing! You gotta I'm not trust me! you! First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now. I... I give up! Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no fats jobs. Uh huh, and stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. Give you my word. Listen, you don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both. What are you waiting for? Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. Kayla, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Shit. <laughs> I... Not another word, you pendejo. Hand over the stupid keys and let's go home. <sighs> Here. Spoiler for me. Thanks. But the Eddies, I bet. They're yours. You... I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I... Shit, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Oof, we dodged one there, huh? Uh-huh. Pendejos have all the luck. ideas for a name? Hmm. Something with a V?
Allez dans l'autre bord de salle là. Y a pas de Cesar, shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Two days tomorrow. I got time. Yo, Rhino, so you're keeping busy? Next time I'm wiping the floor with you, you'll see. <laughs> Well, if it isn't my favorite twins in Night City. What's up, fellas? I'm not, I'm not twins. twins! It's, it's just, just me. me! Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. Vic? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Don't let me down, man. you hear? Assign autographs after the fight. Me? I prefer to get drunk after all this. Wait, 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 hold up. You're V? <laughs> if you're going anywhere after the fight, it's the ER. To collect whatever's left to you. I ain't your typical ring fan. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. One knock to the jaw and you'll curl up in a tiny ball. My record in the ring's a healthy 47 W's. Zero losses. With 20 by knockout. And you look like a 21st if ever I seen one. It's a heavyweight champ doing in the bush leaves. Many problems at home? On the contrary. I got so much I don't know what to do with. It. That's my problem. You see, I started in the mud and shit. Now I climb too high and my fans can feel it. I gotta show them I'm still a scrappy street kid at heart. And you? Well, you're just the wrong place, wrong time. A scrappy street kid? What? Who sits his ass on leather in the VIP area? Not the most convincing underdog story I've heard. Aha! Star of the Owl! Great to see you, V. So, what now? What now, she says. Ha! The title match, you go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? Met him, actually. Don't know what's bigger, his biceps or his ego. And you're surprised. He's a three-time heavyweight champ. Do I even have a shot? Huh. A good question. You could be very good. This guy, he's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bone, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineer. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips, tricks. But listen, I'll be honest. Don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better, you know? If Race is winning anyway, maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. Hit me with it. No. Not here. Too many ears around. Let's step aside. What I'm gonna say, it has to be between us, all right? 
Cut the drama. What's this about? Well, V, I'll get right to it. I know sports ought to be fair, but life sure ain't. I'm not wrong, am I? Razor's manager wants to start a shine. He wants the whole city to hear about the hurt he put on this ring. My point. Pull some punches. Forget to put that guard up sometimes. Then get comfortable on the ground. How much? A lot. More than you'd earn by winning. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> New from the start, you have good instincts. Come on, let's get back before people start to talk. Sorry, uh, but could we talk, please? Just a minute, promise. Sure, what about? Not what, but who? Razor. My dad bought him once. A long time ago, when Razor just got started. My dad fell in the third round. The ref stopped the fight. But Razor didn't stop. Three more minutes, he beat my dad. He survived, but... I can imagine. Where's the story going? Nowhere. It's finished. Like my old life. Like my life now. Just... I want Razor punished for what he did. I need him to know how he made my dad feel. That's why I'm here, little girl. Th thanks. I'll cross my fingers for you. All right, so are you two ready to fight? Only one round. What? One round. All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet and beg for mercy. Right, uh huh. Shall we? I'm ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, tight citizens, it's time for our heavyweight boat. Facing each other tonight, we have Razor Hughes and V. Let's hear it. On to your corner. V, hey, how are your spirits before the fight? Honestly, I feel sick. Yeah, he's a tough matchup, but you know, no one's unbeatable, even him. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nano fiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. He wouldn't even flinch. Appreciate the pep. Hold on now, I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks. Yeah. Keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong! Uh -huh. Let's get it! Let's start this thing. between us. We'll meet again. Tomorrow. Next year. Definitely ain't the last. See you around then. I suggest you train in the meantime. 
That was a dirty movie. Damn dirty. I knew this would happen. Only the best could be me. Ah! Now that is boxing! Slick work, V. <laughs> Had a good coach in my corner. Razor lost. How much? Uh, tons? A few thousand at least? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a good actor. Wait, 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 actor. So you pulled that whole father story out of your ass. Uh, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta go. <sighs> Could have figured. will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. <laughs> Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. V, you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm- You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. 
I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. Hey V, you been feeling all right, I hope? Of course. Why, what's up? Just calling to invite you to Joss's for dinner. I'd v? love it if you swung by. you don't you want to, by. you don't need to drop into the middle what of this. What do you this. say? But we could use your help. That's undeniable. Here I feared you'd forgotten about me. About you? Oh, come on, never. Just been swamped. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss He's visits him. You. Relax. Don't need to explain. Right. So, gonna stop by or gonna make me grovel? Be great to see all you guys. Prime. <laughs> Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. <laughs> Actually, miss you too. River. I'll see you at Joss's. I'll see you at Joss's. You and Perfect. her for what? Till then. Then. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul so wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. 
Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul. I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Yeah, it's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But... Are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie, I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Well, hello there. 
Have you come to make yourself useful? Nope. Just here to talk. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Penem asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. A goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, sister. Drinking always breed deep thoughts? I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. Any of this goes south. You know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. She thinks she cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. Didn't take her side last time she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. Thinking she's learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. My, that was quick. help from yours truly. <laughs> I've always been fond of trains. 
and the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Not here. Hmm. Oh, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Getting cold feet? I am. But it has nothing to do with the convoy. So what is it? I know this may sound foolish. Because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Ugh, trust issues again. Thought we talked it all out. V, I know I can count on you. But... But... No one has ever done something like this for me before. Not without a catch. Meaning nobody from outside the fam? Yes. We could both stand and think about what that means. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned, for now.
You could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Worried about Saul? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling, thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. to Jackie. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming in high. Take out that coupler. We're getting slow. Nickel slow. V, shoot up the damn coupler. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! 
So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. <laughs> 